All right, so we're here. Uh, is this St. Paul or Minneapolis? This is Minneapolis. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're in Minneapolis. All right, so people, humans have been looking at stars for a long time. Probably forever. Forever, okay. Yeah. So they've been looking at it for a long time, and you've got a book, Stargazing for Kids. Yeah. Uh, what's the appeal with the night sky with kids? What's yeah. the appeal? Well, I think it's one of the most human activities we can do. Okay. I think we've all we've all had the experience of walking outside at night and looking up and seeing stars. I think it's one of the most natural questions that we can ask to just wonder what what are those? Right. You know, what are those little lights that we see in the sky? And and they shift a little bit night by night. Um, and there are patterns that we see every night when we go outside and then there are lights that move around. And since, you know, I think as long as there have been people, people have been looking up and asking questions about that. And we live in a really remarkable time now where we have, we have some insights into some of those questions. You know, we have some ways of probing into that that, uh, that maybe our, our distant ancestors didn't. We can look up at those, those lights and we, we can understand a little something about how far away they are, about what they're made out of, about um, what the nature of them is. And, and it's a pretty remarkable thing to understand from sitting here on Earth. You know? And I guess at its, at its simplest, we can notice just with our own eyes, when we look up, we can notice that there's a difference between things that we look up at the sky and they move around every night. Like we look up at the moon mm -hmm. and it's a different place every night. And it's a little bit of a different shape every night. Mm -hmm. And we can, uh, we can begin to, to wonder about what the nature of this thing is that would have it move through the sky and that would have it change shape night by night. And I think that that, that, that curiosity, um, I think that's a big part of what, what, drives, you know, what drives the fascination with the night sky. It's just that wondering, like, what's going on out beyond the, the earth that we walk around on every day, out beyond the sky? So you're involved in both the sky and the tracking stuff. Mm. What, how important is it to be aware of the natural world? Like how, does it matter? Is it okay if we, if well, we just? I think at the simplest, it's helpful to remember that we are nature. If people talk a little bit about nature as though it was like a hobby on a list of hobbies, right? It's like, well, you know, he's into basketball, she's into video games, they're into nature. It's like, okay, okay. I mean, look, I, basketball and video games are great, but we are nature. You know, we are a living thing. So studying living things is studying that which is us. We are a part of this environment and this ecosystem. Um, the air that you and I are breathing right now is filled with the oxygen that those trees are letting out. Mm -hmm. So we have this intimate relationship with the other living beings uh, mm -hmm. around us. Um, so that's a, a fundamentally different thing to study than, you know, than basketball or video games, which again, as delightful as they are, they're not fundamentally what we are. Right, right. Uh, so uh, one more question. Back to the stargazing with the kids. Yeah. Pick up your book. Is this for people who already have telescopes and binoculars? Do they need a telescope? Do they need? You don't need anything. You know, yeah. you, uh, just uh, just two eyes and a lot of and a curiosity and a fascination. Um, if you have a pair of binoculars, great. Have a look at the sky through binoculars. If you have a telescope, learn how to use it. Um, you know, there there uh, there. Are, there are amateur stargazing groups all over the country that would be delighted to help you learn how to use a telescope. Um, it can be it can be a little intimidating at first. It's a little bit like you know trying to you know like watch a movie through a drinking straw or something. You have a very narrow field of view, um, so it helps to have some technique. So the best place to start is just to go out and look up and start to know the basic patterns in the sky. Get to know a few constellations. Get to know a few stars. Um, learn where to find the planets and how to identify them. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest place to start. And then absolutely, if you've got binoculars, look at the sky in binoculars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for watching our latest video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We have a lot of store for you guys. We don't want you to miss anything. You can also turn on our notifications so that when we drop a video, you're the first one to know about it. Thank you.